Hi, yeah, it's Adam here. What we're going to be doing in this video, I'm just going to be running a quick tutorial just to show you how to change large images on the website. See, on this front page, we've got these large images that are in the background that stay where they are. Um, if you need to change them, I'm just going to show you how to do that. Okay, so what we're going to do first of all, we'll just go log into the actual back end of the website. And we're going to find the pages where we want to make the actual changes. So in this one, it's on the front page. Now this principle, so there you go, front page. And we just go into Edit with Elementor. Now these images actually consist of two parts, really. So as we go down, one I need to, you'll see that they've got the blue tinge, or in this case the green tinge, or the pink tinge. So that's actually a background overlay. So to change these images, it's an actual entire row that we need to change. So if you highlight over it, you'll get the little control icons. Click on the edit one, and then we're going to come across to style. And this is where the image is. So if you click on it, it will show you this image is 1500 by 800 pixels. So we're going to use that one because it's the business card printing one. Um, now if you look at the different bits here, it's set to cover. You can change this to other ones. So you can contain it, cover it, let it auto-choose. But cover will generally, for responsive websites, will help it actually change to the size of the screen that it's on. Okay, and you can change here from scroll to fixed. I think in this one I've got scroll, then it's fixed, then it's scroll, then it's fixed just to break it up a bit. So if you want to change the image, like I said, come up here, you'll need the image, click on there. That will tell you the image of the size that's in there. You won't necessarily need that one. You could maybe try 1200. Um, or whatever size you want. So scroll down. So if we want to change it anyway, say I'm going to use 600, that's a square one. There you go. So here's one here. It's already been uploaded. It's 1500 by 800 pixels. Again, you can change that size if you wish. Now, that one there. So we're going to use that one. All you do is insert media or go to upload upload the new image and then insert and as you can see it just changes the background image there okay so now if you want to get rid of this blue color this is actually controlled here in background overlay so you click into there and as you can see it's the blue there and it's got it's in a certain opacity so we copy that so say if we want it to go for red there you go and here it's at an opacity of 0.5. So you can take it up or you can take it down or you can just clear it altogether. Okay. So I'll put it back in as it was. So it's that one now. 0.5. And then say so here we come down, we go right. Well, I want to put an image on the back of this one. Again, click on the double one into your style, and it says it's got no image on it. So we can come down, we can have a look. Now, 1500 by 800. Like I said, try some different sizes, see what works. These generally cover for most. And we've put the image in. As you can see, with contain, what it does, it actually fix the size. So because this is a bit wider or a bit higher, we end up with that blue line now. Whereas if you choose cover, it will adjust the image to make sure it's all covered completely. Okay, so we've put that image in now, and then you want to change the background. Again, we come in now, you choose whichever color you want for the background. You've got the opacity full or completely off. Go 
color again, paste. And like I said, you can just put it on scroll, you can do whatever you want to it. Um, so we get the layout, you get all the different options of what you can do with the image. So style, center, center, it's on a fixed attachment, doesn't repeat, and it covers the entire space that's required. Okay, um, here, the button, you can click on the button, choose where you want it to actually link to. So you just double click on it, choose it to where you want it to link, and then just accept that. If you want to delete a section, you've got the entire section there, so you could just delete it completely. Or if you want to put a new section in, you can got two choices. You can come on, duplicate, and then just go in and make some amendments to what the style that you want, colors, buttons, images. Or you come here, click on the plus, and then you can come in and just build from what you want. So you could come in, just design it exactly how you want. Okay, and then, like I said, background, style, just a classic certain media. You see this one's doubling up because it's set to default so you put on no repeat so it doesn't double it up scroll it cover go to fixed there you go so it holds it in place as the screen scrolls up okay so that's it really there's nothing too complicated about it if you want a button in there just come along grab your button design it or if you like the the already built buttons that you've got elsewhere duplicate pick up and drag it because it's already been designed click into it choose where you want it to go there you go that's it it's nice and simple um, and if you decide you don't like it you can just switch it all off remember once you've got it how you want Come in, click the update button, so then it will save it all live to the actual internet. Okay, so hopefully that's helped and give you a little bit of how you can go in and change these background images. Okay.